Dr. Boturo becomes the first sitting minister to officially condemn the way the just concluded NRM primaries were handled, blaming the mess on rogue elements within the party. Addressing a press conference in his capacity as the Minister of Ethics and Integrity, he said the elections were hijacked by mafias within the NRM party. Complaints that political mafias in different parts of the country were or had sabotaged or used up to the electoral process abound. Many of these complaints were from individuals who directly or indirectly uh, participated in the elections and were later fairly or unfairly declared by the NRM Electoral Commission as winners. If it doesn't need to have mafias, I'm not aware of mafias, but there are people of, not people, leaders in NRM of bad political discipline, you can call them indiscipline, bad motive, who don't know where the party and the country should be going. So they try to manipulate the political process within NRM and even outside NRM. Buturo warned that what has just happened is a recipe for strife. Already the party is deeply divided with many aggrieved members unhappy at the outcome. He said the elections were not only mishandled, they were sabotaged. Buturo has twice represented the NRM as Bufumbira County MP, twice beating his longtime political rival Eddie Quezera, to whom he lost the seat this time round. However, Buturo's critics say he should shut up and accept defeat. Why does he think it is now unfair when he loses? Yes, it is true and NRM has not made any attempt to hide the problems we have gone through in the registration, in the electoral process of NRM. We are happy, however, that by and large we have concluded the exercise. There are isolated cases of extremes that have been nullified. Buturo cites thuggery during the electoral process, ballot staffing, intimidation of political opponents and bribery. Indeed, money exchanged hands during the elections of special interest groups yesterday at Nambole. The deputy spokesman of the NRM, Ofano Pondo, however, says all misdeeds and allegations are being investigated and that action will be taken against the culprits. Yesterday, President Museveni warned all those accused of perpetrating the chaos and confusion and promised stiff penalties. Isabel Nakiria, NTV Tonight.